windy up in the mountains than expected, but worth it. Welcome to Priyatsnek. We got ourselves a camper, a Marimi XLT. Now, the problem is online, I haven't seen much videos of it. I had a look, play with it. So I grabbed my buddy Eric here, and uh, we decided let's pull this thing up Brett's neck and see what it can do and see how quick it is to set up. So as you can see, we are on an edge of a mountain. The road up here is horrific, but we still drove up in quite a ease. Had to take it a little bit slower because of the bumps. But let me show you how this thing is to set up. So there's many different functions. It's got a room, it's got a sh awning, a shade netting. So we're gonna clip the awning on today in just a shade netting. Because once we're done with this and the sun, we're gonna relax and just enjoy this view. So first things first, let's open up the back of our camper and get out what we need. Down the drawer goes. Dust proof, not too bad, considering the road we drove. Bump proof, not too bad. So hooking out everything we need and out she comes. So we've got sails in here, we've got hooks in here, we've got everything we need. I'm just going to grab another sail that's at the back. These are the rooms that you know from the outside. So this is the extra room package, which we're not going to add on today. So this can get out away. And I'm going to climb into the camper to grab oh, our outside room package. This wind is horrific. It's blowing me away. <laughs> These are the sticks we need. So first things first, before we open up the camper, let's get our attachments all loose and ready to set up. Okay, I wanna set up the awning that goes in front. There's two awnings in here, but we're gonna use the slide-in awning for the front. This is our shaded awning. Be surprised how easy this is. Now bear in mind, I'm doing this all by myself. Eric's just watching me as I suffer. <laughs> Here we go. So this will look like an awning. It doesn't look like it right now. We need to unlock the rest. And here we go. So I might need five million extra hands to set up our camper because when you're alone in the bush, you want shade, you want a place to rest, and you don't want a circle. And here we go, in gusty winds. Pull out my ladder. There goes up our camper, done. Hook the ladder on the side quick. That's it. No Easy peasy setup and we're done. No struggle, no yeah. circle, nothing. That is that, that, that's it set up and ready to use. So now we're using the, so with the wind blowing, we want to obviously tie all this down. Now remember, we're setting up a tent in the wind. That's never the funnest thing to do. I'm all up happy. Yeah. And We're not heading in a disaster. Blowing. There's no jokes between the mountains of the wind. But we'll set ourselves up now. And in it's hooked. One goes. Second hook. Come wind. That's why they say never set up a, a tent on a mountain, hey? <laughs> Unless. It's as difficult as this. Right, we have some. You've got a proper, proper thing to set up. <laughs> right, so I'm going to climb up here quick. Something slipped with the wind. Nothing too bad to handle. Back in the middle she goes. I think that's it, eh? Quick setup. And I'll run through. Let me hook in the rest quick. Here's our last long one for the middle here. And that's it, up she goes. So we got our little side awnings for our windows. We can roll them up and tie them up, but I'm gonna use the clips that come with it, which is stuck somewhere in here. Where is it? Got it. Done we are. One this side, one that side. So you can imagine if the, if the setup is this easy, the pack up's just as easy. So, Whoa, it is windy, it's blowing me away. There we go, camper is set up. Eric, I think we're ready. Our next step is obviously to open up here, quickly on the side. Where did I dump the key now? Lost the key. That's kind of interesting. I always lose camper keys, it's like my speciality. 
Remember when we rented that other one? Yeah. I think 90% of that trailer setup was looking for keys. Here we but go. Yeah, we're still looking for this. Here yeah, we already set up. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh. We've got quite a few stuff that shifted around. We've got this road excursion that I need to now try and get out our way. Aze. And out she is. There we go. Done. I think that's it. We're set up. We're ready to camp. We've taken with some uh, sleeping bags. I think we'd be okay, but in the pillow. Let's go have a lunch. So that's it. The Maroni XLT set up to go camp. Easy to fold up again. Ready for the next adventure that would just bring you to a place like this. I haven't seen this one online yet. So I bought it to try it out. Have a look, it's this. The coolest little toy you can have with while camping. It is a geezer, a portable geezer. So what exactly are we dealing with here? This is hot water in the bush. Uh, when you're in the bush, you want to take a quick shower, you don't want it cold, that's it. Easiest thing you can ever have to set up. No fires, no circle. No fires, no circle. So, I'm going to quickly just put it here out of our way so I can show it off. All right. So the front of the camper, we've got our cool part. This is the power. Then what I also got is a pump. Now, this is the easiest hot water setup. I don't know, for, for if you want to really go camping and you want to rough it a bit, grab extra water with, get a pump system that I'm pulling out now, and this is all you need. Okay, so we've got a few taps here. This see-through one is water out. Let's put that back for now. Yeah, sorry. Should keep my stuff more organized. And then the gray one we've got as water in. So this is those handheld showers. I've opted to change the original Alba one with a handheld shower system due to the fact that it had a bit more pressure. The Alba one did have some pressure, but the pump itself is a little bit bigger. It was less pressure. Okay. So what do you do with this? Super simple. Take this up. All right, give me my box. I use my box for stabilization. Okay. And we, need, and we need power and we need a box. Done. Set up. Okay, so open up your water tank, pop this in. So I bored them a little bit bigger. That's why you were asking why there's a bit of dripping coming from it. It's probably because they're not sealing properly anymore, but it's good enough. So we pop that in, done. Okay. This little goodie, we pop onto power. So that's it. Now I have uh, power. water in from a tap the bush. in the bush. Super simple, clip this on here, on the back of your Alva, then you have your gas connector, which we're going to connect now, right up here. Ooh. Doing this all by myself, guys. This is really for um, lone wolf camping <laughs> expeditions, <laughs> it's honestly. Don't take friends with, don't take anything with, need to go by yourself, this is the setup. Need, a, need an escape from the city. <sighs> Tighten it up. All right, it's got two D-sized batteries in there. And what they do is um, they ignite the gas geyser. Okay. It's auto ignite as well. Auto ignite. All we do, done, done, clipped in. Nothing complicated. Our world is complicated enough. Taking a shower in the bush shouldn't be. Right, we're set up, we're done. So now I turn this on, turn on my gas, make sure my Alva is on. There we go. Get some hot water going and on it goes. Pump it. You hear pump, pump, pump. Yeah. Turned yeah. itself on. Okay. And it's ignit. Oops. I got to give yourself a bath there. Oh, I need to switch the switch over here and tighten this a bit. But I have a feel here, Eric. Oh, have a feel at water in the bush. Wow, instant hot water. 
instant. Let's do a shower now. Nice. Ready to take a shower? <laughs> Just about. Uh, that's it. And off it goes. <laughs> that's it.